This is Keith Hellwig from Cops Corrections Videos. If you like my videos, please hit the red subscribe button. In my last video, I talked about what to expect out of a new officer their first day on the job. Well, this one, I'd like to address what to expect out of a new supervisor their first day on the job. You know, years ago, supervisors were experienced officers. They had anywhere from five to seven years experience before they even considered promoting to lieutenant or captain. Unfortunately, that has gone by the wayside, so now we're getting new supervisors who have maybe two or three years experience. And what should we expect out of them? You know, as a longtime supervisor myself, I was a lieutenant and captain for almost 17 or 18 years, I ran into a lot of supervisors, some of them new, some of them old veterans who'd promoted, but there are certain things you expect out of all supervisors. One thing every officer should expect out of every supervisor, whether they're a young supervisor, an old supervisor, a new supervisor, or a veteran supervisor, is that when you call a supervisor, a captain or a lieutenant, make a decision. That supervisor should be able to make a decision. That supervisor should know the policies and procedures, they should know the rules and regulations, they should be familiar with local law so that they can make a decision within those guidelines. Now, most supervisors have to attend, at least in the state of Wisconsin, a supervisory development school. And during that school, contrary to popular belief, they don't undergo a surgical procedure that removes half their brain. They do, however, undergo uh, classes and policies and procedures, how to deal with em employees, how to deal with uh, disciplinary problems, things of that nature. When they come out of the supervisory development school, depending on the institution they're at, they may have two to three weeks on the job training. Now, I know when I promoted to lieutenant, I promoted to an institution that I'd worked at years before, but it had been years before. So while I knew the layout of the institution, things had obviously changed over the course of time. So if you're a supervisor who promotes from one institution to another, it really behooves you to look at the policies and procedures of that institution, to look at their rules and their regulations because they are different at each institution. Now you've got the same basic guidelines in Wisconsin, it's called the 303. So you have to follow that. But each institution has different rules. For example, uh, one of the institutions I worked at, inmates can stay out of their cells until 2.30 in the morning. Another institution I worked at was locked down was nine o'clock. As a supervisor, you need to know things like that. You need to know what's going on, what time the rec areas are, what time dining is, what time counts are, things of that nature. You need to know how to do scheduling. You need to know how to, how to do disciplinary reports. Now these are things you're not going to necessarily know your first day on the job. Pardon me, I gotta turn this radio down. But they are things that as a supervisor, you will have to learn how to do. Now as a, a supervisor, as with an officer, the best thing you can do is listen to more senior supervisors. Learn from them. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. Some of them have styles of working which are going to work out great for them, but aren't necessarily going to work out great for you. As a supervisor, I was able to use humor to diffuse a lot of situations. There were other supervisors who, had they tried to utilize the same humor that I used, would have gotten inmate complaints written on them, they would have gotten complaints from staff, whatever. As a supervisor, you have to develop your own style. However, your first day coming in as a supervisor, just remember, you just put on a different uniform. You put different bars on your collar or different stripes on your sleeve or whatever. First and foremost, you're still an officer. And as an officer, you're expected to do the job of an officer. As a supervisor, never expect your staff to do something you wouldn't do. I don't care how many years you have in. If it requires strip searching somebody and you have to do it, do it. Nobody likes looking up butts and nuts, but it's a part of the job. If you expect your staff to do it, you should do it from your first day on as a supervisor until your last day as a supervisor. Being a supervisor is a whole different area of being an officer. Not only are you an officer, but you're also in charge of officers. You're also in charge of, of an institution, basically. On the weekends, when I left as captain, I was uh, in charge of a 1,500 bed, 32 unit, state prison that had anywhere between 120 and 140 officers working per shift. 
as a supervisor, you're pretty much in charge of that whole situation. Now there's administrators on call, you can call them, you can ask for advice. Unfortunately, in Wisconsin, they've decided that administrators on call can be uh, food service supervisors, they can be HR, they can be people who have absolutely no idea about security, but you still have to run things through them, you still have to have interagency cooperation with them. As a supervisor, support your staff. Don't, don't look to crucify your staff, support your staff. As I've stated in my previous video, as a supervisor, it was my job to help staff succeed, not watch them fail. You know, some supervisors come in and they don't have a lot of experience, and they're gonna write staff up for any petty little thing they can. Uh, I recall one individual who wrote an officer up for misuse of state property because the officer used a state paper cutter on his way out of the institution. Well, I'm sorry, but you know, if you're gonna do chicken shit write-ups like that, you're going to lose the respect, not only of other supervisors, but you're going to lose the respect of the officers that work for you. So as a supervisor, remember where you came from. That's the big thing, remember where you came from. Go in, do your job, be fair. You know, as a supervisor, there were certain people I liked, there were certain people I didn't like, but you know what? The people didn't know who I liked and who I didn't like because I treated everybody fairly. So that's about it, my advice on what to expect out of a supervisor. So until next time, this is Keith Hellig from Cops Corrections Videos. Stay safe and watch your back.